guys, welcome to my channel, Windows Heaven Art. I'm Stephen Cooley. In this episode, we are going to take a look at this. So this is a Wacom tablet that I recently got. Um, and basically what it is, is when you get it all set up and everything plugged into the computer, you set the tablet on the computer desk and it comes with a little pen and it's like an alternate mouse. So when I'm going on to GIMP, which is my photo editing program on the computer to like, like in my design process, when I'm planning out a composition, um, I will go onto this photo editing program and kind of map out what the painting's going to look like and kind of like pre-paint it digitally so that I have an idea of what I'm going for. Um, but up until now, I have used a regular mouse to do that, which is not ideal. Uh, it's... I've made it work up until now, but uh, I'm hoping that this Wacom tablet is going to speed up the process, improve the process, because it is a lot closer to the actual movements you do when you are doing artwork like I do. Painting, sketching, coloring, etc. So let's give it a shot and see how it works out. Now I got my box with my tablet in it. And I'm just going to figure out how to install it first. Um, so I'm going to take everything out. Installation was actually a little bit different than I thought it would be. Um, it was the type of thing where, you know, you like you, you go through the steps and you get an email um, of a code that you have to input and everything. Uh, and so that took me, oh boy, probably like half an hour or something to actually do. Uh, but everything you get in there is really straightforward. You get a cord to plug it in. You can see there to the computer. And um, you get the tablet, of course, and a pen. So I'm just going to install it. There's the pen right there, which is so much nicer to use uh, than, a, than a mouse. Uh, the pen is... You can see me testing it out a little bit there on the tablet. It has a really nice feel, actually, when you are using it. The feel is just, it, it, it's really, it slides nicely on the tablet. So I chose a funny photo of me right here, and I went with this to just test it out. Um, to just, you know, do some editing on that photo with my editing program. So I'm going to, like give myself uh i was thinking at this point give myself like a bigger beard or something like that so i just jumped right in and started using it you can see kind of how it works here just editing my eyebrows a little bit which is really fun and is a lot a lot a lot easier and satisfying to use than doing this with a mouse you can see I'm adding a little bit of color into my eyes there as well, just to kind of sharpen the image a little bit. But yeah, it definitely was a lot nicer to use than a mouse. You can see the the transition of my work here. I just wanted to choose something kind of laid back, just to you know get a feel for how how it works. So yep, you can see I am just kind of goofing off with it and painting onto this photo some some extra stuff which as I've talked about before in other videos in my channel I use this process when I want to really plan out a painting before I actually paint it so like you know I've you've seen me do sketches and then I'll take a picture of the sketch, put it on the computer, and jump right in with this process of seeing, before I actually paint it, what I want it to look like. And so I can try different things, go different routes, um, and really get a good hold on the composition before I paint it. So that is basically what I'm simulating here with this goofy picture. Uh, that You can see the transitions again from start to finish. <laughs> you can see I, I added in a little bit of kind of like a uh, like an Irish Scottish background. Um, gave myself a weird tartan sweater thing with a hood, and made myself 
have red hair and green eyes with like a little bit of freckles even. Um, but yeah, you. in other words, this shows you how you can really get in depth in your painting planning process and plan it out so that you know what you're going for. And the Wacom tablet is really good for that. So after using the Wacom tablet, I'll have to say it greatly sped up the process of uh, exploring art possibilities digitally, which is what I like to do a lot before I'll actually get into a like oil painting or acrylic painting. Um, so yeah, it's a really good tool. It makes it a lot more, I'm gonna say, authentic when you're doing stuff digitally. Um, it is, it's a lot more convenient to use, obviously, than a mouse. And I'll have to say, if you do the type of art that I do, where you like to, with a lot of your compositions, plan it out uh, before you actually paint it on the canvas, the Wacom tablet is really, really good to use, and I definitely would recommend it. Plus, it's just really fun to use if you like doing digital art, which is something I think would be fun to explore and get into. But thank you guys so much for watching, coming out to the studio today. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more painting videos later on. Until next time, God bless you guys. We'll see you later.